Uh, George Soros, by the way, is also upping his bet on Yahoo, the, uh, I guess you can call it still the internet company, uh, and Bloomberg contributor Nick Thompson and also a senior editor at Wired Magazine with us uh, for, uh, on this. And, uh, you know, as I mentioned, Georgia upping his stake, or Soros, I should say, yeah. George, sounds like we're <laughs> best friends. Uh, Soros upping his stake in the last quarter. Yeah. Uh, you know, but people are so down about the company. They think it's such an old company now. Why would he up his stake in this? Well, people are very split on Yahoo. There are a lot of people picking the tech community who think it's just tough. They blew it. They're the next day AOL. They missed all their chances. Right. But actually, if you look in depth at Yahoo's fundamentals and their price, it's actually it, it's, it's kind of compelling, right? They have lots of cash on hand. They have a huge stake in China, in the Alibaba Group, and other Chinese investments that are very valuable. And they still have a lot of traffic, and they've become more efficient in the last year. So there's an argument you can make that at 15.3 or wherever they are right now, mm -hmm. it's actually kind of a bargain. Oh, but, okay, but it sounds as if, though, you're saying that the sort of the parts are yeah. greater than the whole for Yahoo, right? I mean, is there still talk that it could get broken up or sold off, and maybe that is why people are investing in it? I think, I think the fundamental, well, actually, that's a very interesting point. The fundamental critique of Yahoo is they don't have a vision. It's not clear where they're going. They're mm -hmm. a portal. They sell display ads. Portals are disappearing. Display ads aren't really the hot thing. So the question is, what does Yahoo do next? There aren't that many people saying that Yahoo will be bought up, but it's certainly true that they are going to sell off, you know, some of their assets some other assets that don't work with their sort of core mission right now. Like what, for instance? They could sell off, right, they could sell off, like, Flickr, for example, if they decided they didn't want to go into social networking. Extremely valuable property, one of their most successful parts, but you could actually get an extremely good price for it if you decided you didn't want to continue to go down that road. Right, although everyone's trying to get in. Yeah, everyone wants to networking. get more down that road, so maybe they should buy, buy three more Flickrs, <laughs> right? <Yeah. laughs> okay, so Carol Bartz, though, yeah. you know, came in to transform Yahoo from yeah. uh, Jerry Yang. Uh, is, has she taken too long? You know, I don't think patience? she's taken too long. She's been okay. there a year. They've had a pretty good year. They had a, a great, last quarter was was okay. The previous quarter was very good. Um, lot, morale seems to be going up a little bit at Yahoo. So she came in at a very low moment, and she's done okay. And the Microsoft deal, that's one of the big questions for Yahoo investors. How I was going to say, that was, her, so, that was sort of like one of her big moves then, right? If that's her signature deal. That's the biggest change that's come about because of Carol Bartz. We don't know how that's going to play out. It might be hard to integrate the companies. There's some questions about the revenue guarantees that are coming to Yahoo. It's not clear how it will affect Yahoo's bottom line down the road, but so far, it looks generally positive, though it did send the signal that Yahoo was losing interest in search, which is not a good thing for Yahoo. No, because that's where they want to be, right? I mean, that's it's where one the, of the money is going want. to be. It's one of the places they want to be. Okay. And their search share has actually declined over the last year. They're the only major search site which has lost, has had fewer searches this year than last year. And couldn't there be an argument made, though, that if Yahoo just hangs on and the economy yeah. rebounds, their display ad business is going to come back, right? Well, absolutely. A lot of people say that display ads were dropped before search ads because companies decided they didn't really need to brand themselves. Search ads are more targeted, display ads are more general. That declined first. It's now starting to come back. If the economy booms, there might be a lot of interest in branding, and the place you want to brand with display ads is Yahoo. Hmm.